So I'm starting off with a balloon. Well, these are just water balloons. Hello and welcome to Deliberately Creative. I'm going to show you a quick, fast and easy way to do fun paintings taking pieces of freezer paper. And I have dribbled out some colors. These colors are all craft paints and all the information is down below in the more information box. This time we're going to be doing phlox flowers. So I'm starting off with a balloon. This balloon's been used before. They can last for a little while. These are just water balloons. And I think I want a little bit more yellow on here. Kind of just spatter it on. And some of this darker blue on top of the leaf green. The dark blue gives a chance to have some shadows in my color. I'm using 110 pound Nina cardstock to make a gift card that's going to be painted with these pretty flowers. All I'm doing is stamping down into the paint and then onto the card. And it's random. And you just fill up your card around the edges and going up the sides. Maybe make a little mound in the center. If you don't press as hard, you will end up with smaller leaves or smaller shapes to give you places to put your flowers in just a minute. We're just gonna, look how fast this goes. And we, have just about finished painting in on a little bit more of that yellow right up on some of those. There. Even though all of this is still wet, I can take these colors. These are the, perp the royal violet and the mountain blue and the blue flash color shift some of this island blue and white is what I've dribbled down here. Actually, I want a little bit more white on here. There we go. And you see, I'm just drizzling it on. All right, so now I have a balloon that I used in some of these colors before. And I am just going to touch it into the paint. Not much paint on there, is there? And I'm going to start putting paint down and stacking up these little dots. Just barely touch that balloon down onto the paper. The paint will grab onto the paper because the paper is dry and it likes to stick to dry stuff. And a little bit more of the dark colors down around the base. We have phlox flower growing across. That quick and easy, we've already got a whole branch of flowers. I am going to do another one really fast. Barely touch, just touch and lift touch and lift. The harder you press, the bigger your dots will be. The lighter you touch, the smaller they'll be. And if you watch, when I just touch lightly, I get tiny little flowers. And then I can just tap, tap, tap going up and out. And if I pick up a, a blob of green like that, and I don't really want to transfer it around, I can wipe it off on a towel. I'm just going to tap just a little bit more into those colors. I want some of that darker, there we go, some of that darker color. Again, darker down at the bottom, and lighter and brighter up towards the top. 
There we go. And you have a lovely card of flowers that you can sign and send or do a stack of them. Tie them with a pretty ribbon with some envelopes and give them as a gift. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, make sure you click that bell so you'll be notified when the new videos come up, and leave me a comment and let me know. Do you have some flowers that you'd like to see me try to figure out how to do? I'd love to give it a go. As always, go out, do something creative, take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. Take care. Bye-bye.